guys, it's Nicole. Um, this video is just going to be answering a few questions that I've received on my um, YouTube channel. And one of the most common questions I get is how does the Canon printer work and does it work good? Is it easy to use? So I'm going to do a really quick demonstration. Um, right now my camera is pointed at what the software screen looks like for the um, new photo print, easy photo print EX, which is the program that comes with the Canon Mini 320. And I, um, over here, I don't know if you can see that, but it says, um, menu, and out of the menu I selected a folder with pictures, I selected my honeymoon folder, and then it says select images, and I went ahead and added a plus one, let me just zoom in here, see how I added a plus one here, um, so then the image goes to this bottom area, which are your choices, the ones that you chose to print, and I'm only going to print one just to show you guys. Um, then you go to select paper, which is right here, and I already have my print, my paper chosen. I chose the 4x6, and then over here the glossy, or photo paper plus glossy too, so it's already actually chosen. Then I go to layout and print, and then my photo comes up. And let's say I wanted to, there it is, um, crop it. I could go right here. I'm going to zoom in to all the choices here. You can rotate your image here. Um, you can crop it and um, set the date and setting. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is correct or enhance image. And I'm going to tell you why. The one downfall of this printer that I have found is... Um, Hold on one second, let me just adjust this better for you. Is that it prints a little bit darker than I would like. So I go to um, manual here, and then on brightness, I usually change it to a one or a two instead of a zero. And even though it looks darker on my screen, which I'm gonna, or lighter on my screen, I'm sorry, see how it made me so much lighter? It's going to print fairly normal. So that's a tip for you guys if you get this. I have found basically with every picture, nine times out of ten, I've had to change the brightness over here to two. Then you just hit um, save selected. Whoa. Yeah, see, or, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong thing. This is. I'm trying to look at it through my camera instead of on the screen here. So I'm going to move this back to... Hold on, my computer is having a little stroke. One, and then two. Then save selected. Save. Now, after it saves that, which it's taking a second, um, I'm going to exit out of here. And then again on the side screen up here, I'm going to go to print. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. This is very impromptu. Okay, so now it says it's about a print, and I have my, here's my printer hooked up to it. I already have my paper in it, and it just sits in there. There's the screen coming on. And then right down here, we should see it come out of the tray. So, the first time you print with it, like once you turn it on, it kind of warms up like a normal photo printer that you would see at Kodak or, I mean Kodak, CVS in the, or Walgreens. Um, it takes a second. See, right now the screen says printing from PC. But you're going to hear it load up. Once that happens once when you turn it on, it doesn't happen anymore. So if you're trying to do like 30 photos, um, that doesn't happen anymore. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to print, I want to answer just a few more questions. Um, Someone, hold on one second guys, I'm going to aim you over here. Someone asked me to show an example of how I used that wood trim in my 2010 favorites in a project, and I thankfully still had one project here. And if you look, and let me just zoom out a little bit. This is the cover of where um, a little mini I made to um, take photos of all the works that I made for that year. But here is a piece of that wood trim. And I painted it, and then I put crackle paint on it, and then I used some bling, or red pearls in the middle here. That's a good way to use that trim um, in a project. Then, someone else asked me to um, show an example of how I use those paper artsy stamps in clay. 
And I'm really sorry that the two times that I did it, I made cigar boxes, one for my brother, one for my dad. And so, um, I don't have them here. Actually, I didn't, I'm not sure if they went to my brother or cousin, but I don't have them here to show you. So, um, a good example of how to do that, use those paper artsy stamps, would be to go to, um, Rach0113. She does a lot of that. So, she's actually the one that gave me the idea. Okay, so here's our, um, photo printed. So it prints a pretty good photo, um, and that only took, let's see, under 60 seconds. So I just wanted to answer those questions. And then one last question I was getting was, how do I like my new um, glue gun? And the reason I got this one, it was $24.99 from Michael's, and I had a 40 off coupon. And the reason I got it was because it has this nice flat bottom, so I like that it doesn't, you know, get all gunked up and fall over. It's sturdy, and it had a battery button to have four AA bat four yeah four AA batteries in it. Okay, so pros and cons. Um, my friend Sherry was right. She actually posted uh, a comment to this video when I showed getting this, and she said she has this one, but it doesn't warm the glue enough on the battery setting, and she's a hundred percent right. The glue does not melt on the battery setting, not even after being on for an hour, and it just does not work. So, um. I don't like it because the battery setting doesn't work, but I don't um, even want to return it because I do like that it has this stand and it works really well when it's plugged in. So hopefully that answered some of the questions you guys had. Um, I just want to put this video out so that I think it's a lot better than just commenting and writing answers. You guys can like physically see how the printer works, um, what using the wood looks like, etc. So have a good weekend. Bye.